What's up guys? Uh, I hope you guys like my haircut. If not, um, once it grows out a little bit, it'll look cooler. Trust me, it's going to be like this and then the front's going to stick up. And then once I get my contacts, I'm going to look hella cool. Anyhow, today I'm going to be talking about just girls and how you don't need them to be happy. Now, if you're a girl viewer, because I know there's a lot of girl subscribers just flip the same thing around you don't need a guy to be happy now a lot of people lose sight of this and that's why they settle or they just grab at a boyfriend that doesn't really fit them and it's kind of sad because for me at the very least I don't think I would settle for any of that and it's very strange because even when I don't have a lot of options I would just rather be single than go with someone I don't like and it's very strange because a lot of girls and some dudes as well they'll be like okay here are my options they're not terrible but they're not that great and simply because everyone has a boyfriend or girlfriend and I don't I'm going to settle in this relationship now first off that's not everyone I'm generalizing here I mean there's a lot of people in college guys and girls who kind of understand it a little too well and they're like I'm just gonna be single all four years and I'm just gonna play around and a lot of these people end up being the people who are very well connected anyways and have a lot of options um, but before I digress too much the point is you can be happy just as you are now certain people will take this to the other extreme and you don't want to do this either and that other extreme is oh I don't need a girlfriend or boyfriend to be happy I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do and I'm not even gonna bother approaching any girls or guys ever and yeah because I can be happy single and that's where I see another group or subgroup of people in college uh, so first off we got the the ones I just described which were the ones who are single and they just flirt and play around with all these different people because they go to parties or whatever and they're just really well connected and they have a lot of options the other group which I see and bless their hearts uh, they're the dudes who just uh, sit in their rooms and like play video games all day and I mean bless their hearts but they kind of like convince themselves oh I don't even need to try why do I need to try you don't need this to be happy and what they're doing is they're using this and extending it beyond the, the simple fact that is true and they're making it such a crutch that it's preventing them or more so not pre really preventing them but uh giving them a valid sort of excuse that they shouldn't use to ever even associate with the opposite gender and a lot of these people are happy with it i'm not gonna lie like i've been i've tried to occasionally convince some of these guys it's okay you can sort of go along your way and approach others of the opposite gender and associate with them but some of these dudes have just ingrained it in their head that's not how it works so i guess the what i'm trying to say is um try your best if you see someone you are potentially interested in try don't make excuses don't do stupid stuff to convince yourself not even to do it because what that does is it el eliminates any chance of it happening um, it's happened to me quite a few times and I've regretted it because a lot of times I'll convince myself oh don't worry if I just do my own thing I'll still be happy and we will just naturally bump into each other and start a conversation never happens sometimes I never see them again sometimes I do but uh, only for a few instances and then there's no more chances because it's a new semester or whatever reason 
you don't see them again, especially when you're going to a college with uh, tens of thousands of people. Now, again, don't get too scared because it's not that bad. Most of the time, you will see them again, um, even when you go to such a big college. But at the same time, you will regret it at times because sometimes you just don't get that opportunity again. Um, and that's just how it is. Sometimes you never see them again. And that's that advice is more geared towards guys because uh, for girls, it's sort of more normal for them to just do their own thing and then let the guy approach. Now, that might not always happen. If you're exceptionally attractive as a girl, most likely it will. Most likely you'll be annoyed by how many times you approach. But on the flip side, sometimes if you're not that attractive, you kind of have to uh, go out there and work with it and approach yourself and just try. Because a lot of the times, especially in such a big college campus, a lot of people will just be moving out and about. And since there's so many people, they don't really tend to notice. A lot of the times for me, what's happened is you don't even notice the people. And the girl doesn't notice me until I approach. And it usually doesn't happen because um, it's just very, very hard to actually notice every single person in the classroom. And... You just got to go out and realize, okay, it's okay if you maybe tripped or fell or did something stupid because chances are, despite you thinking she saw or noticed, you'll be surprised. And yeah, you'll, you'll find out that she didn't even notice you were there until you went up and approached. And that is the sort of nature of a big college campus. On the flip side, there are instances, like there's still going to be a percentage of times where, let's face it, this person did notice you screw up before you went up in approach. Or maybe you just for some reason um, screwed up and made a fool out of yourself and she noticed it. or She's noticing you coming in and you screwed up. Well, you just got to keep going and do it anyways because quite frankly for me a lot of the times it's like I still think there's a small percentage of me who th that thinks there's still a chance and therefore you got to keep going. So in conclusion, the point of this video is just a few things. You can be happy without having a girlfriend or boyfriend. You can be happy without having that sort of gender uh, difference in your life. Um, I mean, just think monks, priests, a lot of people, even famous celebrities, Justin Bieber right now, single, and it's fine. And a lot of people think, especially college people, they think, oh, because I'm freaking in college, I don't need a girlfriend or boyfriend. But if I don't have some sort of sexual or physical relationship with some girl at my age, I'm not going to be happy. And that's retarded as well. Um, and there's plenty of examples that I can think of where that's the case. And on top of that, the second thing is don't make it a crutch or an excuse to not associate or even try with someone you're potentially interested in. So just use this so you don't get depressed when you're alone, but at the same time, don't use it as a crutch to never approach and then just sit in your room all day and, and feel glum or convince yourself and fake happiness. Um, and those are the two things 
the two biggest things. And that's all I have to say. Uh, leave this video a like if you liked it. And thank you if you watched all of this video. Uh, leave it in the comments below if you did. I'd really like to see who did and who didn't. I would like to thank you all personally because, quite frankly, according to the stats, the video retention rate is usually, on average, about two minutes in. Then everyone, on average, leaves. So thank you. If you watched all 10 minutes of this, it shows a lot of uh, interest on your part. And I hope you guys got something out of this. Peace.